All right, so the next question you may be asking is, can the new Zamporta be used as a content management system? And I'm going to let you guys in on a little known secret. Zenforo already has a content management system. Okay. So maybe it's not a real content management system. It's a small content management system, and it's based on pages. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a page. Let's go to lipsum.com. Generate some crap. And here we go. We've got a page. Uh, you know, let's put it all in that P tag because they asked P. NP. Let's call it uh, Lipsum. Title is Lorem Ipsum. Let's keep it hidden and let's click save. If it ever loads. There we go. And now we go itrun.com slash page. I, I've, you know what? This is the first page I've made in yeah, there it is. Now we have a page. I mean, it doesn't look that nice because I put no effort into it. But we can add some more P's. Just to make it look a bit nicer. Separate these paragraphs. Click save again. All right, so we have a page called Lorem Ipsum. It doesn't look that nice, but you know it's uh, there quickly, and we want to add the widget framework to this. And it's going to be very easy. I ex already explained how to do this before, so I'm going to go through it quick. I'm going to go into my uh, Zenforo installation library, Zenforo, and I'm going to look at the controller public for pages, which happens to be called. Zenforo controller public page and I want to look at the response view for this page which is right down here and I can see hey the view public for pages is Zenforo view public page view so let's uh, add it to the list okay that's been added now we're gonna do the template edits template modifications uh, I'm gonna open this one up make it easier to just copy stuff create new template modification and we need to know what template we're editing editing thankfully right underneath the view public is the template name page container a uh, page node container there we go let's uh, name this EW Porta 2 widgets page view description adds widget blocks to the page view do a regular expression just copy everything here this is a no sidebar page because they didn't add one and there we go and now that's saved now page views are ready I'm sorry pages are ready to receive a layout so we're gonna create a layout let's call it uh, pages title um, pages <laughs> easy enough and the template is the same exact template as before page node container there you go and the parameters well we have a page here but I don't know what the ID is for this page so let's go to applications uh, display the node tree and the ID is 153 so we're gonna do the variables anything in the view params variables which is right here you can use in this search so I'm going to search for the variable page the index is node ID and almost anything within the node tree the index is node ID and the ID is 153 now if I left this parameter section blank the uh, widget page I'm sorry the layout will still work but it will match anything that goes into uh, this view public and this page container but you can uh, specify it by the additional parameters using any parameter in this list so I can even um, 
if we go to the page view for threads right here, and they're viewing a thread. Now, if you want to add a uh, uh, thread view, thread view, if you want to add a uh, layout to only a single thread, you would do something like um, thread, thread ID equals the thread ID. You can also do forum node ID equals and then the forum and we'll edit any thread within a specific forum. But we're going to do it this way. Put the layout priority to 10. And now this is a layout for pages. Let's add this widget link. Uh, what do we want to add? Let's add people status updates. Drag it to the sidebar. And now when we view Lipsum, it should have a sidebar. Oh, the server's running a little slow right now. There we go. And now we have a sidebar on this page. And this page now is within the widget framework. Very easy.